Hello. So I know how much you guys love crossword puzzles. So here is a Valentine's Day themed crossword puzzle for you to solve. Okay. Let's go ahead and just start with one. It's one, two, three, four, five letters long. And the clue is Roman God of Love. Roman God of Love. Any of the ideas? Okay, so if you don't know the answer, the clue is um, the character of Valentine's Day that helps two people fall in love. Yes, Cupid. Okay, three across is three letters long. Okay, and the clue is crimson. Crimson, three letters, three across. Crimson, another way of saying the color that's associated with Valentine's Day. Yes, red. What's next? Five across, right over here. One, two, three, four letters long. And the clue is a door. A door. Another word for a door that is four letters long. There's a lot of words that are synonyms of a door, but it starts with an L. Yes, I think that gave it away. Love. Eight. Eight across. One of the longest words of the puzzle. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. And it's romantic lighting. Romantic lighting. You might eat dinner by, not by the light of the moon or the light of the room, but you would light what with the flames? Yes, candles. Okay, the next one across is 10 across. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six letters long. And it's a common meal to celebrate Valentine's Day. So out of the three meals of the day, which one do we typically celebrate Valentine's Day eating? And it's one, two, three, four, five, six letters long. Of course, if we're eating by candlelight or candles, it has to be dark. So dinner time or dinner, a nice dinner to celebrate Valentine's Day. Okay. What's the next one? Let's do 12 across. One, two, three, four letters long. And the clue is embraces. So when someone embraces you, they are doing what? Yes, they are giving you hugs. 13 across. 
It's one, two, three, four, five letters. Five letters long, and the clue is Valentine's Day purchases. So besides dinner, what is a purchase? And what is given to someone on Valentine's Day? That's five letters long. What's another word for presents? Yes, gifts. Gifts. Okay, right underneath, 13 across is 15 across. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Seven letters. And the clue is bling. Bling. Bling is kind of the slang word for what? And it means shiny and maybe expensive. Usually the ladies will receive this as gifts from those that adore them. Yes, it is jewelry. How many of you have had have gotten jewelry for a gift before. Okay, the next one is five letters long and the clue is a Valentine's Day symbol. So what symbol is usually associated with Valentine's Day? You might see it in homes or in businesses. They decorate with this symbol. It's heart. One more across. It's three letters long. And the clue is Cupid's weapon. So the Roman god is Cupid. What does he use to help two people fall in love? Well, not an arrow because that's longer than three letters, but how does he shoot the arrow? Yes, a bow. I think we got all of the um, across puzzles. So let's work on the down puzzles. Okay, 11 down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. And there's a U and an E in the puzzle. And the clue is fragrant, fragrance. So what's another word for fragrance? This is also um, a wonderful idea for a Valentine gift. Fragrance is something that smells good. Another, for men, it's often called cologne. For women, it's called perfume. Yes. Perfume. Two down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. It's seven letters. Um, and the clue is flamingo. I'm sorry, not the, oh yes. So seven letters and the clue is roses and tulips. Two favorite and popular flowers given on Valentine's Day. But what are they? They're flowers, yes. Flowers. What's your favorite flower? I would say tulips is my favorite. Roses is my second favorite for Valentine's Day. Okay, four down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. I, I uh, printed. 13 across off a little bit, but um, so there's an L and a T and an E in the, in the word, and it's um, the Swiss are known for it. So besides flowers and perfume and jewelry as gifts, what's another popular gift that is often handed out or given, and it's sweet? 
Yes, chocolate. Do you guys like dark chocolate or white chocolate or milk chocolate? Do you have a favorite? Go down, so down. It's one, two, three, four, five letters long and there's a C, an A, and a D in the word. And it's a sweet treat. So, so besides chocolate, what else can be given on, or, um, given on Valentine's Day? Yes, candy. Candy is another great gift to hand out to fr friends and family. Okay, three down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters in the word. There's an R, a C, and an E. And the clue is Sentimental love. So when people are, are when two people are in love um, and they sh express and show that love, especially on Valentine's Day, um, it might be, oh, that was so, such a blank gesture. Yes, a romantic gesture. So romance is the answer. Romance. Next one is one, two, three, four letters long. And the clue is flamingo color. So what is the color of flamingos? Of course, they're pink. We have two left. Let's do six down. One, two, three, four, five letters, and there's a D in the letter. And the clue is holiday mailing. We often don't get these in the mail, but if we were to do the snail mail, we often would send what during Valentine's Day or holidays? Did you guess cards? Because that is the correct answer. The last one. Nine down. A R blank blank W. Does anyone know what it is without me giving you the clue? If not, here's the clue. Quiver item. Or in order to shoot, what does a bow need to be used? Or do what do we shoot from a bow? Yes, an arrow. Cupid can't have a bow without his arrows. That is our Valentine's Day crossword puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and hope that you've had a wonderful Valentine's month um, and we're able to celebrate with those that you care about and love that you not only received gifts, but that you um, were able to give some gifts to those people that are special in your life to um, show love to them. Um, but thanks for playing.